Okay, day whatever episode. Welcome to Washington. We have the, we're at the number one in worst air quality right now. The smoke has gotten insane. This man's not wearing a mask or anything because he's just, he's a savage. And he's even got asthma. I'm gonna keep, air quality is 327. Yeah, I'm gonna keep at least this one on just because, I don't know, I feel like a sensitive snowflake to the, the smoke. Just pulled up. Huh? The editor just pulled up. Editor just pulled up. The lady behind the screens. Oh uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> but today's the day we're gonna get this transmission in. Got the tranny jack, which we probably won't even use at all. Got our little diagram laid out of what bolts need to go where. We're gonna try and get this under there. These big old muscle boys and try and mount the tranny bracket up first. We also, we did the slave cylinder. Didn't show it, it's super easy. And also replaced the throat bearing. Had to take a well, hunter, beautiful man. He took this to a machine shop to get the new one pressed into there. So that'll be nice and new. We're gonna get right into this. Yes. The tranny is up there. We're just struggling to line everything up and get it to be close enough to get. So once we started getting these bolts in on this side, then this side was pulling farther away. So I think we might take a quick little break ski and then we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What? You're gonna make marks on your head. What a dingus. All right, we're back. We got Hunter Ford motivated to get things going. What is that little That's cute. Oh yeah, I brought that just in case money, yeah. That looks like it would be better, it's way smaller. Ramsey Adams obviously is here doing burnouts and whatnot. What a man of culture. So the transmission's up and everything. We're just having some struggles getting everything to line up. Hey, buddy, quiet. To line everything up perfectly. Oh my gosh, this kid is gonna freaking whiskey throttle into something. But yeah, we're just trying to get this to line up so we can start getting all the bolts back in. We got one side that once we started tightening it down though, then it was pulling the other side of the transmission out, making it a little a little hard to work with. We're gonna get into it and get Ramsey doing some dumb stuff over here. Huh? I need some water. You need some water. You're trying to do Bernie Sanders over here. Yeah, there. Look at the smoke out. That's crazy. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, Hunter, let's get motivated, buddy. No. <laughs> no. No. Gosh dang it, can this thing just be done already? Sick of it. It just says I just sent a PayPal. A $25 thing to, that's what I get for talking on PayPal. I haven't even used PayPal in so long. <laughs> oh no, this is definitely fake. Tiny URL, that's one of those. Click on it. No, I'm not gonna click oh, on it. On, click on no, that's a scam number, dude. No, click on yes. it. Crazy, okay, we're gonna bust this out and get the car on the ground. <laughs> I hope you're wearing headphones watching this. Have they only seen this thing on air? Well, it's not bagged. On air? <laughs> huh. No, it's on the ground when I went and blew my clutch. Oh, damn. All right, yeah. Freak Cheese, what do we need to do? Look at the, the diagram. You have something to do with the bracket? Diagram. Diagram. Nice. Hold on, I just want to see if we can pull this thing. Too far to pull. What's the air quality right now, Hunter? 420. 420? 420. I don't believe you. We the worst in the world right now? We're number one. Zam, Zaddy. Zam. Any exposure to the air, even for a few minutes, can lead to serious health effects on everybody. Avoid outdoor activities. Exactly what we're not doing. <laughs> You're right. I might raise no female dog. I don't know about that. I'm not so sure about that. You're so sure about it. We're gonna get in here and cuddle. Oh, Hunter always knows what to do. He's got all the answers. He says he doesn't know what to do, but deep down inside, he knows what he's doing. So guys, this is a 2018 Honda Ruckus. Uh, I tried doing burnouts earlier. 
car needs to be wet. Hondas, baby. Should make a YouTube channel of like, no, just not even talking. Or like how Chris Fix has never shown his face. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. got the most subscribers out of any car YouTuber. Maybe you shouldn't show your face. It's Honestly. kind of the move, because he makes more money than TJ and Adam, and no one knows what he looks like. Yep. You heard it there, folks. He's not making this for you guys. He's making it for the money. Yeah, that's why my face is in it. Reporting live. This is Trap Bunny Bubbles. It's an angle's killer, man. Does not it does, yes, because look at this, the crankshaft sensor. How it's cut out around here. So it's got a line up. Trap Bunny Bubbles. <laughs> Trap Bunny Bubbles. Dude, chill. Oh, I want to live in a mansion. Oh, God. Playboy Bunny, what's happening? So those are both going in. I don't know how tight I should go. We got the bottom ones. They're like the very bottom of the transmission right there. And then one on the other side. And there's that 10 millimeter in the Zoom middle in. of those. And then that little black cover thing that you can't see. It's kind of a pain right there. And then there's big one there. Two up there. These two hold that little gold. I don't know what it's even called thing. And then the big. I think that one's a 17 up there. And then now we're trying to get the starter bolt in. And then after that we really just got to hit the four on the top that have that little couple brackets that hold the top of the transmission in. And after that, snug everything down, get the drive shaft back on, and then yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get these things on a roll here. I'd like to see this thing on the ground soon. Right, Ramsey? Yep. Oh yeah. Alright. Just that Okay, well Hunter Ford down there tightening up some bolts and Ramsey Adams is being on supervised office duty, yes, making sir. sure that we're staying safe. The new springs I'd got for the rear, the inner diameter was a 65 and I should have got a 62 because they're a little thick so what I'm gonna do is I have little markings right there and then I'm just gonna grind them down a little bit because on Z's you got the two nuts that go up onto the studs to hold the top coil in and you can't fit so I'm gonna shave these down quite a bit. I already did one side but I didn't video it and then I'm gonna make these bad girls fit. All right, so big oopsies. Uh, I don't know, Hunter, you want to run them through, basically? Essentially. Essentially? So, so this spring? No, nothing to do with the spring. Um, but on top of the transmission, there's like this little hose thing that goes up. Holy cow, Ramsey. Jeez, don't play with me. I'll sit it right here. So basically, there's, wow, a, there's a hook that comes off of it, like off this hose on the transmission, and that hooks up to a bracket over at the top, and that hook actually was wedged in between the transmission and like going on whatever, so we just tighten the whole transmission and then notice that it is stuck, and we're like, oh, it's stuck on it, and it's actually in the transmission, so we basically we have to disconnect everything and basically kind of waste time. But we'll figure it out. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and do everything to like we loosened all the bolts, and then we're gonna try and unwedge the hook from out of there, trying to get it out. But smoke is getting gnarly. It's dark soon. I still need to run and grab transmission fluid so we can fill it back up. Still got to finish grinding the spring, getting that in, and then getting the drive shaft and the exhaust back in. So we'll see how it goes as far as time. It's already it's four o'clock. So we'll see what we can do in the next hour and a half, right, Rams? Yes. Right. Yeah. We'll get her done. All right. We'll get, her get her done just like Leroy. Brown did. Get her done! Alright, Hunter is flashlight or flashlight? Where's the flashlight go? Someone get this man a flashlight. Get a flashlight, buddy. Basically trying to pry the transmission open a little bit to get the hook up. Yeah? Alright, buddy. Stop. Ah, step bro. Stuck in the engine bay again. But you chillin', aren't you? Oh, Dude, oh, got it. Holy cow, can you? Oh, yes. Okay, this right here that almost snapped. This, holy cow. That, so, basically, this bracket goes up and it was stuck in between the transmission. And if it would have snapped off, that would have been a whole nother problem. Then that's definitely taking the transmission out to be able to get this out. But the man, the myth, the legend, crackhead hunter always finds a way. Except maybe now the flathead's stuck down there. But, oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to step on those brand new clean vans. Huh? Just uh, shake it super fast. Go vibrator mode. Pain is weak and it's leaving the body. Oh, I got something in my eye. I was gonna like try to put a different screwdriver on the bottom to like, loosen up that. Nah. 
That's not what you need. What you need is a little. <sighs> huh. So is it just stuck lodged in between them? Yeah. All right, we are back. What is happening down here, Cameron? Down oh, I here. just finished uh, putting up this random brace. Still looking for the missing bolt or extra oh, bolt. Oh, well, the extra bolt. There we yeah. have. The missing spot. I guess the way to go about it is if uh, neither of us can find it, then it's probably just uh, something to do with the simulation sending us an extra one on accident. Oh, <laughs> true. Well, uh, heck no. Um, <clears throat> it definitely came from somewhere. Because I remember when we were taking this off, we kept finding like more things holding on the transmission. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. There's so much stuff holding <laughs> <laughs> like, What's uh, one extra bolt? Yeah, you know, it's just a little extra safety. And I just need to get the O2 sensors to clip back onto their home. Everything so, is A-OK. -okay. Yep, we just need to throw back in that drive line. And the transmission fluid. And transmission fluid, and that's it. Uh, that's a wrap. And that's a wrap. And the big reveal of if we did it all correctly, that's another, it's another wop. I think we did. I think so. Dude, one thing though that I've always been able to do is like, or like anything that I've done with like clutches have always like actually worked in the end, you know? But you're gonna say they don't. No, like it normally does like at some point, or like, you know, I don't know. Like I said, like most of other projects they'll have like those uh. Those uh-ohs. Yeah, and you're like, oh, gotta go back and do that. But these are really nothing. Kind of weird. Put it down. Yeah, because something could go terribly wrong or it could just all work, so you never know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, I've never I've never put on, like, a, something wrong. on Or, like, that I know of. Like, I've never, like, put on something. Actually, the only thing that I've had happen when doing a clutch is I didn't put the uh, one of the other starter bolts in. So then it not started? It started, but, like, the starter would, like, move around so, like, it wouldn't, like, connect on the flywheel properly, you know? But other than that, I just need to put the foot. That was the missing bolt that I was looking for, so. Yours, hopefully, isn't so serious. <laughs> It's just like a random bolt for the transmission. Like 20 times. Uh, give her a go.